Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the awesome Creepy Tale 3 Ingrid Penance. Now this was developed by Creepy Brothers, published by Sometimes You and is available for just £8.39 slash $9.99. So as the title suggests then, we play as a spoiled little wiener girl called Ingrid Penance who, after stepping on a loaf of bread to not get her shoes dirty, ends up in hell and then we have to traverse through weird and bizarre puzzles and events and stuff like that to not get eaten and stuff. Now, uh, in terms of achievements, there are quite a few sort of uh, miscellaneous ones, um, which again, will obviously all be timestamped as usual. Um, and it's literally a case of just repeating a few actions a couple of times, etc, etc. Plus, Normally, we would have to play through this game at least twice in order to get a, a few endings and the full one, uh, full 1,000 on Platinum, but we will be making some backup saves in order to just get through it in one cheeky little playthrough. So all in all then, you're going to be looking at around just over two hours or so to get this done. So with that being said then, as usual, let's do it! And well, yeah, let's do it, man. Let's, let's play. Let's start this stuff. Now, hilariously, we had, I, I say hilariously, so this is the first chapter. I, and again, we're just going to press the A button to smash all the dialogue. I say hilariously, it's not, not it's not funny at all. But obviously, I've got the first creepy tail up. I've somehow missed the second creepy tail. And I'm just about to put the third creepy tail up. So uh, <laughs> just keep that in mind. The second creepy tail will be on its way. So with the buttons then, it's obviously going to be left stick to move, the A button to mash through some stuff. Um, and interact with objects in the world. There will also be so for this playthrough, we're effectively be um, we will effectively be doing a sort of good playthrough. Uh, but we'll get more to that a little bit later on. So for now, we're just going to continue all the way to the right until we get to a puddle to open up your inventory. The game will tell you here anyway, but you basically have to do a spin on your head and do a, a 360 degree turn on your fingers. I'm joking, just press the Y button there, and then press the A button to use whatever particular item it is. And of course, if you've got more items, go left and right. Job done. Anyway, off to hell we go. This is Drag Me to Hell, the second one, or third one, or however many films are out of it already. So, as you can imagine, then, there's going to be a lot of beautiful-looking monsters like this. This is uh, this is what most men look like after a night out. So, if you're a woman and you think, oh, beautiful, long brunette hair. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. And then the lights come on. That's what we mostly look like, I'm afraid. Anyway, head to the left, past the creepy kid monster, and you're going to pick up something on the ground. Well, not pick it up, but you're going to use it to burn a fire. Go to the left and pick up this valve right here. There we go. So as soon as you see the hand icon, that's when you know you can pretty much grab it. Uh, again, press the Y button, then the A button in order to use the valve, and then press the A button. Uh, so basically all we're looking for on this Wheel of Fortune... <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. You're basically looking for like a little grub looking thing. So if you run out of light, go ahead and use the... I want to say bellow. That is a bellow, isn't it? Or it might just be an absolutely dongish. Anyway... Make sure to go all the way until you find the grub of life. There it is. I mean, it's a decent bit of protein, so you can't, you know, you can't really go wrong with that. If you're protein deficient, eat some caterpillars and stuff. That's my life advice to you. Right, so you're going to smash it and then little weird children monster things off to the right. Where are you running off to? Come see, young... Oh, God, me, what you doing, you stupid little thing? Right, anyway, uh, go to the right slightly, and then what you're going to do is pick up this book right here. Well, what we're going to do is take these. So you need to hold left or right in order to make a choice. So obviously we're going to take that one. Um, uh, there goes the, um, <laughs> the beautiful-looking people after a night out. 
So, little puzzle coming up then. There's three ropes. What we're going to do first is pull the middle one. And then we're going to pull the right one. And then, of course, we will pull the left rope. And that will get us going again. So again, for this playthrough, we're going to be doing a lot of good stuff. So get close, press the Y button and then the A button. Now make sure to choose the left option here. Go over and feed it. So it, usually everything on the left side of any cho choices are going to be the nice or good ones. Good choices. So we're always going to be making them. Then we can just go in, press the elevator button, and then we're going to ding dong, ding dong. On to chapter three we go. See, getting through it, we've done in no time at all now. So go to the right and you got this kid thing chewing on his disgusting cheesy toenails. Mmm, beautiful. Again, smash through all the dialogue here. Grab. So who have you I don't have Are there a lot of you? Plenty. So does the room and who decide Not me! Creepy. Remember this time we are going to answer politely. So again, it'll be the left hand side page. So make sure to hold the left stick to the left. Answer nice and politely. And that's it? It couldn't be seen. So let's do that. So we're gonna head over to the waterfall. We're actually gonna be, gonna be coming up to our first achievement as well. So just interact with the waterfall. It's gonna burn, it's gonna sting. <laughs> yeah, see that's why you don't trust anyone in hell. So, if we press the right bumper here to look at our hands, it basically gives us a score. So, obviously, the uh, good one, which is going to be on the right, is... It's basically a scoreboard. So, the more bad stuff you do, you get more on the left, and the more good stuff you get on the right. So, we're obviously going to be doing a good playthrough. Uh, but what we're actually going to do is get our first achievement. So, literally, just keep hitting the right bumper um, enough until she says, No, stop, it hurts! I hate you! Uh, but yeah, just keep going until she cries, and then the first achievement will unlock. Yeah, I suppose that would pinch a bit, mind. Oof, Bernie, I can feel that. Tell you what, that's like when you got a water infection and the, your, your, your own wee burns. Yeah, uh, we've all been there. Anyway, continue on walking to the right. We're going to be getting another achievement in just a bit. So we're going to look down. And then what you're going to see is a whole bunch of statues like, no, hey. So what you need to do is press the A button to jump across, the A button to jump across. Now, to solve this puzzle, you'd have to go to the left. But for three or four times, we're just going to keep continuing this trend until the bathing time achievement unlocks. So you'll look down, jump across until you get to the... Dice with the number two on it, until the achievement unlockens. And by three or four times, I meant, of course, five times. You know, just uh, just, just messing with you. Ha, ha, ha. I'm so funny. 
So this time we will do the puzzle properly. Once the achievement has unlocked, you'll also get an achievement for completing this puzzle. So jump across once, jump across twice, jump to the left now, and then jump to the right again, and jump to the right. And one more time, jump to the right. Then we're going to jump to the left. Jump to the left. Jump to the left. And then you can just jump all the way to the right in order to get the dexterity achievement and complete this chapter. On to a new level then, and apparently we're going to be helping feed some big giant mouth thing in the wall. Tidy! Right, so we're going to drop down here, and then a piece of delicious looking ham is going to come down. That's the life, isn't it? You just lie there while everyone else feeds you big giant slabs of meat. Oh, and then you get some beef stuck in your teeth. <laughs> oh, it's the, it's the sort of the way, isn't it? Yum. Anyway, what we're going to do, pick, pick up a piece of garlic first. Um, she's going to taste it, but it will go in your inventory. Then when Chunky Little Man goes, pick up the knife as well. We're going to go for another achievement here. All we're going to do is press the Y button to go into our inventory and get the knife out. Um, about five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, Scootin' Baby is driving me crazy. Yeah, so just keep whacking your knife out until the bloodthirsty achievement unlocks. Bang time, mate. That's us done now. So go to the left. We're going to go through the, the two doors here. We'll go to the first one we come across on the right-hand side. And she's going to be like, what in the hell is this? There's a hole here and I can't just jump over for some reason. So we'll go to the all the way to the left once we're back up and then we'll drop down. And then what we're going to do is get our knife out and cut a slab of this delicious looking liver. I feel like liver and onions. So, yeah, it's gross, but be right. So take that again then for the right-hand side. Everything comes in handy in an adventure, point-and-click adventure game, doesn't it? So make sure to pick up the wheel here, or the half the wheel, whatever it is, and then go to the left-hand side door. That'll put us into a new location here with three tentacles. So what we're going to do, we're going to die some more. So just keep going into the tentacles until the pain lever achievement unlocks. And again, for those who love... Um, <laughs> That, uh, you know, that part of anime. Well, this will really turn you on. In a very weird way. There we go. So eventually it'll unlock. There it is. Pain lover. Pain or chocolate lover? That's me. So, first things first, get kind of close as you can to the first one, and then you're going to feed him some garlic. So, the first one, we will feed the garlic. That'll, uh, yeah, that'll smash him off indubitably. The second one, then, we are going to feed him the, uh, piece of meat, or the liver, or whichever one it is. Lung, liver, shiver, whichever one. That'll kill him dead, but we can't do anything with the third one just yet. So, pick up the item there that was just in front of the second mouth, and on the left there is a lever. So once that's picked up, on the very left is a rope that we're going to pull as well. So give that a little ding dong, ding dong. Come and get it, come and get it. And then we can head back to the left and up we go. Or down we go, or in the same place we go. Anyway, head to the right. And then we are just going to go ahead and get dripped on by acid, which is not going to go well. So what we'll do is press the Y button here to go into our inventory, use the horn that we grabbed from in front of the second mouth in the previous room, get some acid. And then we can continue on our way back up. Again, nothing in here can hurt you, so near panic, you worry, you bother or something about it. Go to the right here, pick up another piece of garlic. Ew. 
Why would you even try to bite garlic? Like, you might be a spoiled kid, but you know garlic's not for tasting. So now we're going to go through the left-hand side of these doors to basically go up. And then we're going to go to the right. Now, for this one, what we're going to do, pick the bone and then choose this left option. Slowly and carefully pull out the bone. <laughs> Sorry. i got too many puns going on in my head right now. So, uh, head to the left. And then what we're going to do, we're going to use the knife on this tear in the wall. Or oh, I say tear in the wall, whatever that is. Tear in the wall, that'll do. And we can nip on through. Now, with this pit then, we're just going to wait. Uh, wait by the cogs, or the gear cogs. Wait until this little thing turns around and then put the bone in it. That's going to snap it in two. So then we're going to need to pick up both L bonos. And then what you need to do is put both of the broken bones in each side of the gear cog. So wait again until he turns around. As soon as he does, put one in to the right-hand side, and then immediately on the left-hand side, put the two bones in. That'll go skaboosh! Or something. So that's basically somehow stop the acid, and then we can go on our merry little way. So, out of the door to the right we go. And then we're going to head to the right again, and go back down through this door, so we're on to the sort of middle level again. Go through to the right hand side, go down again. The hole has been repaired, so we are good to go. So head to the right, pick up the uh, second wheel, which was just in the dirt pile there. Then we're going to head to the left, all the way to the left. Go through this door here, where we're going to obviously go back into the three tentacle, or one tentacle left anyway. This time we're going to feed him the final piece of garlic that we've got. So let's just smash him up. Blah, blah, blah. Ow! He just spat that in my eye, you son of a... Anyway, that'll get you the Exchange of Pleasantries achievement. So instead, what we'll do is use the uh, Horn Full of Acid. You want to spit garlic back at me, bro? Well, I'm going to acid you up, boy. Nah, 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 nah. Nice. So, we're going to walk slightly right, and we're going to be like, Ew, sticky floors, basically like your local nightclub, uh, which they never seem to wash their stuff. Put the wheels in, anyway, into the unwashed nightclub floor. Sticky glue. That'll glue, sir, that'll glue the wheel cog together. Then we can head out to the left again. And we are effectively done with this room. So, go past the big slab of deliciousness. Well, stuff that'll make you really sick. We're heading up into the middle room. Then we're going to go left again and go up to the top. Where big mouthy bone bro is. So, uh, get your now fixed gear, and we're going to pop that one in. That'll go in nicely, and then we're going to put the lever in just in front of it as well. So, pop the iron, the iron lever, and then we're going to interact with it once, and that's basically going to get a cutscene going, where it's going to turn into a pumpkin, and it's going to make the big mouth spew. <laughs> Yeah, man, not good, not good. Anybody who eats roasted pumpkin, <laughs> you disgust me. Nah, just joking. Right, so make sure to turn the lever back to the right so that the big slab of hammy meat will go down as well and we'll get the dinner served achievement as well. So we're going to go into the tier now to go down onto the middle section and uh, just to the right. And then the way should now be clear. So what we're going to do, we'll head to the left Go back through the open door. Open sesames. Or open says me, whichever one it is. And then just slide all the way down to start the next chapter. Uh, what the 
What's the... <laughs> Have you seen... Again, remember to answer politely here when we get the chance. There it is. So again, left option always to answer politely. Because we're nice. Now, now that we've been dragged into hell. So, short level then. All we're going to do is he chews on his disgusting cheesy nail nails. Uh, we're going to head to the right. Again, more conversation is going to happen. And this big eyeball is going to be like... Eh, eh. Hey. Who? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, if you want to help, keep in mind that... What's this? And again, remember to choose the left option here, which will be repent. So never get angry. We're just repenting, being nice. <laughs> Whoa. Quit your suck. There's a way to get around. So what we're going to do then is just collect every single feather on the bridge. So I think there's about six or seven that we need to grab. So just collect all the feathers, head back through, and that is going to be this chapter done. Nice short ones is what we want. We're in the tree! The tree! So, let us go and get a, another missable achievement now, called the Voluntary Sleep Achievement. Right, uh-oh, we're stuck now. So what we're going to do, we're going to head to the right until we basically see two flowers, and then all we'll do is just wait in front of these flowers to get knocked out. So, slightly to the right, yeah, they are then, there's the two flowers, just uh, stand in front of the left one, and it's going to go... Psst, like a flower, so basically a flower's going to pee on us. I don't know how you like it, but uh, well, that's exactly what happened. That'll get us the voluntary sleep achievement anyway. So, first things first, let's get on proper now. So, go to the right and interact with this tree. It's going to reveal some purple balls for us. I'm glad they did. I'm glad they weren't blue balls because uh, there would have been too many jokes. So, once you grab the purple ball, a purple ball only, go over to the wheel, uh, press the Y button to go into your inventory, put the glowing. Purple orb in, go to the right and press the button, and that'll be the first of six done. <laughs> so, then we'll head to the left, go back to the wheel, and then what you need to do is, you'll see the light, obviously, so just put it down to the bottom option there. And we can now head inside. Now, these two enemies in here can kill you. So, or they can just choke you out. So, especially with the one at the bottom, some, you'll have to do a bit of time in some time. So, what we'll do is head up the stairs first. Should have plenty of time there to head up the steps. And then head up the steps again. Remember though, remember like I said, these uh, Roy Hodgson looking owls can hurt you. So, pick up the jar there. I got a jar of dirt from the left hand side. Then what we'll do, we will wait until the owl on the top goes to the right, go in, grab the shears, and then head back out. This will get you the picklock style achievement and some garden shears. Now wait until the owl on the bottom goes to the left. I went a little bit too quickly the first time around. So just wait until he goes, puts the dream catcher on the hook, and we'll wait for him to nip on back. So again, this section does have a little bit of weight in here and there and everywhere. So, so good. So once he's back to the right, head down. You can press the A button here to pick up the dream catcher, which we'll need later on anyway. So grab the dream catcher and then go just behind the owl. Get out your dusty uh, jar and then fill it with paint. And then what we'll do is we'll go to the left. So we'll go all the way to the left. Um, literally as far left as you can. And then we've just got a little bit of waiting to do for the moment. So once the owl starts moving to the left, we're going to go to the very left and head out the opposite side of the screen. And again, we're just going to have to wait until a basket of flowers comes down. So once the basket of flowers then starts coming down, what you're going to do is get your vial of paint out and then put it on the flowers. 
If it doesn't work the first time there, just back out and then quickly do it again. Then we're going to head to the right in order to go to the left-hand side of the screen. And once again, we're going to wait for the Roy Hodgson Owl uh, to start arguing with Broski on the top. So again, continue to wait because Mr. Top Owl is going to start coming down. They're going to be like, squawk, squawk, hoot, 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 mother hooter. Uh, in, in our language, I assume that's our language. But as soon as he starts nipping off to the right there, now we can head upstairs free as a bird. Now sometimes there, Ingrid will be like, who in the right, my, who in the right, my, who in the... Just get up the stairs, girl. <sighs> So, head to the right then, and then what we're going to do is we are going to drop the garden shears on the rope. Cut the garden shears on the rope. That will smash the owl down and release his purpley ball. So, that's what we'll do now. Head down. Now, don't obviously go all the way to the right. There is a little branch that we can use in order to uh, not get caught. So, right here, you'll see the sign. There it is. So, make sure to go behind that. Pick up the purple ball, and then that's your gateway to freedom. All the way to the left and out. Hey. You've already forgot. I see. And how's that? I I was meaning. Yeah. They're Little girls have. Then have fun. So after that conversation is done then, and remember, you should have the dream catcher. So if you want to check your inventory, you should have the dream catcher and a purple ball. Check the purple ball in, interact with the um, button on the uh, right hand side, and then you're going to do the same things we've done earlier. So just shine a light on whatever comes next. So into the library we go. Now there's only one owl here, uh, should be easy enough to avoid him, but first of all what we're going to do is go to the bookcase on the bottom shelf here and then interact with, now the hand icon doesn't come up, but you should get that one and then if we go to the left just by the owl there's a green book here that we can press the A button on, interact with that one as well and that'll get us the curiosity achievement for not killing any cats. So, what we're going to do, we're going to head up and go to the right-hand side ladder. There's three ladders here. So, we'll go up to the right-hand side one first. We will go to the right and then interact with and smash, eventually, a skull, which will have a key in it. Once you grab the key, then, we can head back down the ladder. Yay! Back down the ladder! So, head left. We're going to go up the next ladder. So the one in the middle, gonna start getting all spooky dooky now. Uh, if you go to the right there, we can, <laughs> well, let's try that again. We'll put the key in, so make sure to put the key in the top where, where we're standing, just at the top there. That'll get a bridge going, so now we can go to the right hand side. We're gonna pick up the sickle, pick up the sick, so pickle up the sickle. There we go, then we can head right and we can head back down the ladder. Again, again, very puzzle orientated this game, but still pretty damn cute. Uh, so make sure to interact with the next key here, uh, and that will get the owl going. So we'll be like, what the hell? Brr. So we can climb back up the ladder. Now we're going to go to the left. Now don't worry, he can't turn around at this point, so we won't be able to um, grab you or anything. So we're going to grab the key from the top. Then we're going to head down. Now you will have to be quick on this part. Oh, well, in just a minute, we're going to have to be quick. But for now, we're okay. We can just go to the left, interact with the book that the owl was reading, and it's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, cute. No words. So, heading up the left-hand side ladder. Oh, and of course it breaks. That's how it always goes in video games. Then we're going to use one of the keys, any one in the first slot that we come across. That'll get half a bridge going. And then what we'll do is head up the ladder into the attic basically where one cheeky blue purple ball is. 
wanting to be used, loved, abused, as it were. Uh, but now we're actually going to use the sickle on the uh, bunch of crap in the way, interact with the book, and there it is, blue balls. So once we grab that, also very important, if we go to the left, there's no hand icon, but if you press the A button around here, um, Ingrid here is going to pick up a vinyl record, which is an important, which is important for achievement, for an achievement in just a bit. So make sure to pick up that record slash vinyl, whatever you want to call it, and then we can head back down. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Music in this grate is real creepy, which obviously being a creepy game it is as well. Uh, so pop the next key in. There we go, that's going to make it a full bridge. So let's head to the right. Make sure to grab the purple ball here as well, so you should uh, be right blue balls up now. So again, need to give them a little flick in order to get them working. So this is the point where we need to be quick. We need to head down, grab the key at the bottom, and then immediately climb back up the ladder. So there we go. So grab the key, and then immediately climb back up the ladder. And the owl's going to be like, brr, brr. Even, though, uh, even though he's got wings, he's now apparently stuck. Uh, use the key then on this last one. Cross the bridge, head down, and then we can head to the right, because we are libraried done. Now, time for a very easily missable achievement, though. So before doing all the stuff with your balls, um, put them in there. Hey, hey, hey. Go to the left, I'm so sorry. Have a look inside this tree, and there's going to be a little lava there. A little... Worm bug protein infused caterpillar thing. That's going to get you the lava achievement. Very easily missed that one. So now we can do the whole thing with our balls. So stick your balls in and then shine a light on them so everyone can get a good gander at them. And in we go! Oh look, this looks fun. Right, so there is an owl going to be walking around, so we'll have to use the bed to sort of trick him. But first of all, what we're going to do, obviously we've just headed to the right, we're going to sleep on the bed. Now, when the owl sees you and starts to strangle you, what you need to do is press the Y button and use the sickle on him to slap his head straight off. And then we're going to exit the game and come back into it. Because of course we need to be doing a good playthrough. So he's going to be like, hmm, what the hell? I just, just seen something on my bed. Yep, so he's going to start strangling you here. So press the white button. And then use the sickle on his head. Boosh! Once the achievement or trophy unlocks, we're going to exit out to the main menu. And then we are going to continue back in. We're going for another achievement uh, for this section. So there we go, if we just press the right bumper here to have a look, you should be on 712. That is exactly what it should be looking like, as long as it's 712, you're good to go. Right, so again then, we're going to do the whole light thing, we're going to go back into that same room. Only this time what we're going to do is sleep on the bed, and when the owl uh, comes, we're going to just run the other way, and we're going to do that three times. So, sleep on the bed. And when the owl uh, appears... There he is. Hello, Roy. How we doing, mate? So as soon as he stops there, press the A button to get up. And then just go to the left-hand side. So you don't have to go too far. Just past the... You can stay here. That's fine, because he will start moving off to the right. There he goes. So what we're going to do then, we're just going to sleep on the bed again until the owl comes back and then does the same thing, where he looks puzzly, confusedly. So here it is again then, as soon as he's asked, going, arr, arr, arr. there we go, press the A button to get up, and then head to the right, ever so slightly, so we'll go sort of just past the sleeping boy, 
And we'll stay here for just about sort of five seconds or so. And then we're going to head back to the left and go on that same bed. And then this time then we're going to wait a little while, uh, but basically for the owl to come back. Come on, Roy, be quicker. Oh, hi, Roy. How are you, bud? Right, so once he's done that, then we're going to press the A button to get up. And this time we're going to head all the way to the left. The Naughty Girl achievement will unlock for tricking the owl many a time. But we are actually going to start cracking on with the game now. So head all the way to the left. Path Sleeping Beauty right there. Naughty Girl will unlock. Head all the way to the left. Here is the ladder. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to climb up the ladder. We're going to put the dream catcher on the top of the hook. And then we're going to wait for our boy to come back again. Right, mate. Once Broski is down and out for the count, head down. We're going to uh, press the A button here to collect the yellow ball. Or the yellow orb, whatever you want to be calling it. We're also going to be getting another achievement here. So what we'll do, go to the record player, um, put the vinyl record on. And then once that's on, immediately press the A button a few times. And then Ingrid should pick it up and give it a snap. So now just keep pressing the A button. There we go. Give it a snap. She'll snap that. And the who wrote this stuff achievement will unlock. So that's 14 already. So now we can just continue on with the game. So if we continue heading right... Past these bits of lights, we're actually going to wake up this next kid now. So, um, just to the left of the girl here, what we're going to do is put the left knob all the way down. The second one all the way up. The third one all the way down. And then the fourth one all the way up. That'll get the girl up and awake and then she'll just disappear. So, have we just saved her? Or had she already been a... Eek! Anyway, let us continue on to the right, and we're going to save another little boy. Oops, sorry, done that by accident, didn't need to do that. Um, so we'll just keep continuing on to the right. Remember, the owl, little, little owl is sleeping, so near panicking, bothering yourself about panicking. Here we go. So, for this puzzle then, what you're going to do, you're going to see uh, basically the mark, the first mark from the top, so not all the way to the top, but just below it. All you're going to do, nope. And try that again. There we go. So the first mark at the top, just move all these sliders up to that top mark. And then he'll go, yeah. Hey, wait. And then, my friends, we are done with the game in just a couple of hours. You've got quite a few things left to do first though, so we'll head to the left, head back through the door, and this is where we're actually going to make our first backup save. So just again, smash through all of the dialogue, and we will um, pop in our little, not purple ball, blue ball, in fact, yeah. And then just do the same thing, press the button, shine the light on the next ball. And once we've done that, then we are now going to make the backup save. So again, just in case you're not sure how to do it, I will show you, I will tell you how to do it now. So all you're going to do is click on Creepy Tail, completely quit out of the game. This will now make a backup to the cloud. So when we delete our local save uh, later on, 
that this save right here will be all good and handy dandy to go. And the reason we're doing this here is because we are going to get two achievements, which um, make it uh, technically, we need to make a couple of decisions for the sort of bad. We need to make a couple of bad decisions. Um, and obviously for the majority of the playthrough, we're trying to get uh, through good ones. So yeah, that's why we've done that. So again, just in case you've forgotten or you don't know how to, or you've never known how to do it, you just completely quit out of the main menu um, to the Xbox dashboard, come back. And so again, the next time we delete our local save and come back, this is where our save should be. So put yourself into the sunroom. We're going to get two little achievements here. Um, one for burning birds and one for burning yourself. It's unfortunate, but it's all in the name of achievement fun. So when the owl starts walking to the right then, we will start nipping over to the right as well. And we're going to grab the dim ball. And then we'll head back to the left. And we'll get shot. And smashing me doodahs. There we go. That's an unfortunate way to end right there. But remember, any item that we have already collected, it'll stay collected even if we dare. So, now go over to the right and pick up the key that he just uh, put down as well. And now we will go down the right side door in order to get down below. Uh, onto the left, pop the key in. A bizarrely shaped key. And the owl is going to start coming down. So just, you know, wait a flipping minute. You know, try and stay sort of left as you can. Get inside the tent. And he's going to have a little look at that girl. Now, what we need to do, I actually took my time here and uh, I actually messed this one up. But what we're supposed to do is use the key to turn the laser to the right and then turn the lever on uh, to burn the bird. So, obviously, as you can see, I got a little bit uh, out of control with my rhymes. I took a little bit too long there, but, but that's fine. He's just going to stay here and keep doing the same thing for a minute. There we go. So once he starts going to the right, now just wait until he gets all the way to the right and then make sure that you're on the wheel and then move the laser, which is just above the owl now, to the right. There we go. So pop that to the right. Get off, then go over to the lever, press the A button on that and that'll go kablamo. And then if the achievement doesn't unlock, just uh, interact with the lever a couple of times um, and then it should... Oof. Oof, man, that is a... That's an unfortunate way to go, but there we go. So we got the burn little bird achievement. So now all we got to do is just burn ourselves in the eyeballs. So let's turn the laser to the left. There we go. Tal do, tal do. Pop the lever on. You die. Ah! Burn, little girl. Burn. And there we go. So, of course... We now need to reload our backup save, or load our backup save. So, go down to Creepy Tail, go to Manage Game and Add-ons, down to Save Data. Go down to your gamer tag, and then delete from console. Very important to make sure to delete from console. If you delete everywhere, then you're going to have to start it all over again. So, as long as you've deleted from console, you go back in, and now we should start from... Um, just before we went into the sunroom again, so, yay! So again, hopefully you've done everything right as well and you followed along and we should be back here with the two achievements in tow. And again, if you want to just double check your hands, we should still have more good than a lot more bad. Right, so now we're going to go into the sunroom this time. We're going to do this level properly without trying to kill anything. So again, we'll just wait for Roy Hodgson the Owl to nip on over, nip on over baby. And then we're going to grab his ball. His, you know, dim ball. His only ball. Then we are going to head all the way over to the left so he doesn't catch us. 
And then he's going to go down. There he, are. there he is. He's off. Right, so now we're going to go over to the right-hand side. While he just chills down there. We are then going to grab the purple ball. That he just popped down there. So grab the purple ball from the purple light. Then we are going to go over to the very right-hand side. And we should have one of the uh, glowing yellow orbs. So we'll pop that yellow orb in. And obviously, we need the third one. So, well, let's go. Now we can just basically... Uh, we're going to come back to this room later on. We're going to head out and we're going to put the next purple ball in and do all that stuff, Magoonie. And off we go into the next area then. So this one we're going to be chased by this owl. But uh, to be fair, the uh, enemies are pretty stupid in here. They can see us walking around and going down and they still manage to mess it up. So go to the left, wait until the owl goes quite far right and then head up. Interact with the first wheel here and then immediately start running to the left. So interact with it. The owl's going to be like, oi, son of a git. Run to the left. And he's going to be like, oh no, where did, where did, where did that little girl go? We are going to head all the way to the right. Owls obviously have not very good eyes. And we are just going to put the rusty valve on this door here. Then we are going to open it up. But don't worry about the noise. Sometimes it... They make noises in this game as if they are if you're being chased, but the owl literally never comes down here. So it's a vin-vin. So same thing, wait until the owl goes quite far to the right. There we go. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab this next wheel. And it's gonna be like, Oh you son of a get the hell back here, I'm gonna beat the crap any Oh no, where'd you go? And there we go once again. So what we're gonna need to do this time, we are going to head up, and you see that machine just on top of us now? We are going to put the rusty valve on there and use it as well. So make sure, put the rusty valve on quick and then quickly use it. Turn it to the right as far as you can and then we'll head down back to the right. And uh, now we're going to head all the way to the left. I'm pretty sure he can't come down. He's just confused about being silly. So head to the left, go back up. Next we're going to grab this next rusty valve and he's going to be like, Oh my god, what the hell? And we're going to head back down. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Roy. No time for you, man. And this should effectively finish this area anyway. <laughs> That's it. Everybody saved. Owl has died. Man, we are super cool. So, we're actually going to go back into the sun room now. So, use the uh, sun, use the wheel to get to the sun room and head back inside the sun room. We're obviously going to get the third orb and put it in the uh, machine in the top right hand corner. So, there's the orb. Happy days. As soon as the owl starts going to the right, past the door. So he's going to turn the lever off and go to the right. We're going to head down. We, <clears throat> Excuse me. We're now going to grab that yellow orb to the left. And then we can just head back up. Hooray! Now we're going to go all the way to the right. Pop in the yellow orb. So you've got a triple bow. Oof, nice. Nice triple bow. And now, now let's do a little bit of a puzzle. So the first one we have to do uh, once, the top left corner once, the bottom middle we are going to do once, twice, three, basically seven times. So seven times until it's in the sort of top left hand corner and that is about it. That'll light it up so we can back out. Now we can put our dim bowl. That'll lighten it up 
And that's job done. Now let's get the hell out of here and do the thing we've been doing earlier and get to the next wound. Welcome to the Owl of Thrones, or is it the Game of Owls? <laughs> anyway, interact with the elevator just to the left of where we came in, and then we're going to do a little puzzle. So first of all, from left to right is one to five, so interact with the fourth one. There it goes, and then we are going to interact with the second one. <laughs> wieners, wieners, wieners. And then we're going to interact with the first one, the very left. Wieners, wieners, wieners. Because, of course, uh, Game of Thrones and Wieners goes hand in hand. Um, yeah. Apart from the final season, but nobody ever talks about the final season because no. Anyway, off we go to the very top. And we have to make a little dream catcher type thing. So first of all, if you press up, so if we interact with the lever and then press up on your left stick, that'll get it starting. I thought it was going to be one of those where you have to spin it around, but no, you just press up. Now, with this dream catcher, we have to make it look like something L specific. Hmm, I. So, first of all, then with the top one, we're going to turn it until it is in a diamond shape. Yes, that diamond we just went past, so we'll try that one again. There we go, so that diamond. Then the next one down is going to be a moon shape. Then, where the acorn is, we're going to turn that into a skull. And we're also going to pick up a feather from the right-hand side as well. Pa ba There we go. Once that is done, we can press the B button here to back out. So it should be good as a golden as a nugget. And then we can just pop the dream catcher back down by pressing down on the left stick. And then what we'll do, once that's done, we're going to head down and then go and sit on the Game of Owl Thrones. Nah, this is a fun one. Yeah, lots of portals in here. So, first of all, then we're going to interact with the... We'll just call it a lever. We'll just interact with that once, and then we'll go through the portal. This is what we're going to be doing for the next five, ten minutes or so. So, interact with the switch uh, just once again, and go through the portal. And then we're going to uh, just go straight through the portal again, and then this time we're going to interact with the switch once twice, and then go back through the portal. And through this one then, we are going to interact with the switch again once, and go through the portal once more. And then with this one, we're going to interact with the switch once, twice, and go back through the portal. <laughs> yes, it's going to be this kind of commentary for a few minutes. Then we're going to interact with the switch once, twice, and then go back through the portal. Oh, hello. We're in a new area. So, where the dead body is right there, we're just going <laughs> to... Sorry, if this is your prized possession. I don't mean to lambath the dead, but you're dead. You don't really need it. So, go ahead, pick up the bottle. And then what you can do is press the Y button to get it out of your inventory and use it to grow some... Meat bit, or whatever it is. So anyway, with this one, we are just going to head straight through the portal. And then, this time, we're going to head straight through the portal again. And then, we are going to um, yeah, use the switch once. Go th back through the portal. And then, this time, we're going to use our little vial of crystal yum-yums. So again, get it out of your inventory and pour it in. And that will get another meat section, or an E-rection, if you want to call it that. 
no, wait, don't do that. Then interact with the switch once, twice, and go through the portal again. And you're going to get your crystal yum yum meth out. And well, wait, no, that's wrong. Uh, it's not meth, it's just crystal yum yums. So that's going to grow another little meat me direction. And then interact with the switch once, twice, and then go through the portal. And then we are going to interact with this switch once, twice, and back through the portal. And finally, we have reached the end. So just keep heading now all the way to the right. Effectively, it's going to be more or less just one long giant cutscene for the time being. You're not a girl! You got a- Well, I don't need it. Sure. <laughs> There'll be no- No crap. Just try believing mo- Tell me. I saved them. Hmm. Well, what are you waiting for? Look, <laughs> so- <gasps> Wow, time to run. So, eventually we get to the castle. No owls follow you because, of course, owls are stupid. And, obviously, we also got the save mission achievement there as well. Right, so we are going to start heading to the right now. We're into the castle area. It's... If you're wondering what the path is made of, yes, it's teeth. We're into... We're into what I assume every dentist's house looked like. I, you know, if you were a kid and you're wondering why everyone's so scared of the dentist... Because when you're a kid, this is what you imagine all dentists' house and the outhouse looks like. So, what we're going to do after talking to old vampire-looking bra right here, we're going to say no. Make sure to say no on the left-hand side. Of course, we're going, obviously, for the nice little playthrough. So, we're going to head all the way to the right, have a little look down the chasm, and go all the way back to old vampire man's. Aren't you tired of banging Open on the door? Up, I'm dying. Where do you think? Away from here. <laughs> You're right! <laughs> 
So now we're going to have the ability to switch characters, which is nice. So with the X button or square on PlayStation, we can now switch characters. So we're going to go as old man and we are going to interact with the lever first, pop it down and then we're going to switch characters again as a little Ingrid. And then we're going to pop ourselves on the platform, switch characters again and pop her up. So once old Ingi Ing is up, we're going to go to the left, we're going to interact with this lever and then quickly switch to the old man and quickly get up the ladder. Uh, so some of these are timed. Um, again, if you don't, you know, even though we're sort of already halfway up, but that's fine. Um, obviously, if that happens, just switch your character back and then just pull the lever again. There's nothing that you can get really stuck on. And there we go. So as old hunchback of Notra Crap, we'll go over to the right. I mean, come on, man. We've, we've got stuff to do today. Hurry up! So, go over all the way to the right there with that switch. Leave it. Don't pull it just yet. As Ingrid, we're going to walk over to the right. And then we are going to just stand her by the ladder right there. Then switch back to the old man. Pull the lever. Switch back to old Ingy bags. And get your buns up them ladder, huns. Right, now we're going to go to the left. We can jump over. So she does have the ability to jump. That's uh, interesting. Uh, go all the way to the left. And then what we're going to do is we're going to climb. In fact, no, we're not going to do anything yet. Because as the old man, we are going to go over to the left-hand side now. That's the dials on the wall. Basically, we're looking for the uh, lever here just to be for the lift. So what we need to do is, as Ingrid, interact with the tooth. Then climb onto the rope. So now climb onto the rope as Ingrid. Then go back to the old man and lift her up. Eventually we get there. Now what you need to do is jump over to the right hand side and quickly pick up a brick. So over on the right hand side here there's going to be a brick which we'll grab just there. And then jump over to the left hand side. And then quickly go into your inventory and put the brick in the mouth. And then press the A button to start feeling inside the mouth house. Now, I managed to get this first time, but Ingrid basically pulled out um, a lever or a dial or something. If you don't manage to pull it, or if the mouth closes, you'll just have to go down, put the tooth back on again, go and grab another brick, and just do that bit again, uh, if that didn't work. Otherwise, if it did, and we're all good, we can drop down and start heading to the right again. So, go back and switch to old vampiric little beautiful man. Ah, nice cup of tea. Not the way Americans make it. Or not the ones on TikTok who are stupid. So, you don't actually have to pull that. I did get a little bit premature there. A bit of premature evacuation. Um, because as Ingrid, we will just climb down. Uh, don't worry, that lever doesn't do anything special. And by the way, I'm only joking American TikTokers. <laughs> You're all so funny. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do is put that rusty thing that we put in there. And we're going to put that just in the very right-hand side one. We're going to go to the left. And then we're going to keep it as Ingrid here. But do not pull the lever just yet. So what we're going to do now is... There we go. Just stand by the lever. It's all good. There we go. So, now as the vampire guy, now we are going to pull the lever. And then what we'll do is head to the left. Pull the next lever, just to the left as well. And as Ingrid, pull this lever. Climb up the ladder. And then you should have enough time now. More than enough time, actually, to just jump over the half bridge. Get yourself over. Jobs are good and right. As old man vampiric American TikToker. I make tea in the microwave. Uh, sorry, I, I will stop now because I'm going to get sued. Uh, just put him over by the left lever. And then as Ingrid, we're going to pull this lever now. That's going to get this one going. Immediately, quickly jump down. Then go to the right. Pull uh, as the old man. No, sorry, as Ingrid, pull the second lever. Then as the old man, pull this lever. And then as the old man, we're going to climb up the ladder. 
and then that should get that should give him enough time to get over and then as Ingrid should give you enough time as well to jump over again if the um, bridge does fall like it's just about two for me here uh, that's fine because you should be able to now just quickly climb up and jump across or if that doesn't work then you can just pull the lever the very right hand side lever again um, just as long as there's a half a bridge somewhere you can both jump across and you're all good Right then, so as the old man, we're going to go over, we're going to give little schnooker pants a uh, little tap on the head, and then we're going to interact with this lever. So you kind of, you see the, the clock just above the old man's head there. We basically need to get it so it is pointing at 12 o'clock. So Ingrid, pick up the tooth, and then as the old man, put the uh, lift down. So there is a weird way we're going to be doing this. Uh, so Ingrid, get up there, old man, lift her up. So obviously you can't just lift it up and down because it's just going to go from quarter two to ten two. So, with Ingrid, put the tooth back in the hole. And then we're going to stamp on it. Then, as the old man, we're going to put the lift down. So that'll actually stay there. The, the clock will actually stay there. Then, put the time back up. Or pull the lever uh, again. Then, as Ingrid, put the tooth down. So that'll keep the clock there. Then, as the old man... Put the lift back down. Then, as Ingrid, we're going to... Oh, in fact, no, sorry. We're just going to put the lift back up. And then it's all good. 12 o'clock. So it's an easy puzzle when you know what you're doing. But, yeah, job done. So, uh, interact with the tooth again. That'll put it... Uh, complete it and stay at 12 o'clock. Now, with the old man, put the lift down. And get yourself up there. So head to the left now as Ingy Bag Ingies. We're actually almost done now. We are going to uh, start chapter 10 ever so soon. All the way to the left. We just picked up the item. Now we're going to head to the right. It's just a lever. So just in the hole next to the tooth, use the iron lever. And that is going to use it and go ba -doing. Yeah, boy. Old man. Man, I hope I look that good when I'm 680. I'm only 33 and I still don't look that good. Damn it. Anyway, get both characters on. Walk slightly to the left as Ingrid. And then it is the time of the weird dentist lady. This is exactly, like I said, what every kid thinks of when we go to the dentist. Such lovely cake. Now, now. <laughs> Why so angry? Let me fix it. There. Now, the... Stay here a while. <laughs> hey, old timer. I'm sorry. Wait. Backstabber. And then the dentist has a nice face when the kids get a lollipop and stuff. Right, so what you need to do then, you just need to basically wiggle your left stick from side to side and eventually 
Um, she'll pull her hand out, she'll pull her other hand out, and then just move the left stick to the right, and off you get. Now, this is kind of like a stealth section. If you get caught, it doesn't matter, because you'll always just, um, even if you pick any items up or anything, you, of course, will just start uh, in the same room, or at the top left-hand corner. Immediately hide into the closet here, though, so we don't get caught straight away. And then when Auntie, Auntie Dentist, oh, like, it's a frame picture of Tony Blair, the old Labour Prime Minister right there. Um, so soon as uh, Auntie has on to the left, we'll immediately go out and start running away to the right. So she basically has a pattern. We're basically going to be in her house where we've got to go from room to room, picking up children's teeth and everything. Um, and obviously we've got to avoid her best we can. Now, the room we're in now, she doesn't actually go in, so that's fine. Uh, straight into the kitchen, and what we can do then, we're going to head over to the right-hand side. We're going to immediately pick up the loaf of bread, the fluffy bread, and she will eventually come up here, so hide behind the barrel. Definitely worth hiding behind the barrel. We've only got two chapters left, so this one is a bit of a long one. She will come up eventually. Now, it really depends on how quick you do things or how slow you do things um, in terms of where she is in the house. So for now, for you, she might already be there. Uh, for me, she's taking a sweet ass damn. Right, when she goes then, she's going to head down one floor, and then what we'll do is pick up a tooth... Oh, oh, this is a candy ball, sorry, which is just on, just by the fire right there. So make sure to pick up that red ball. And then what we're going to do is actually kick the bucket. Boosh! And then we're going to start heading to the left. So effectively, we're just going all the way into the left-hand side room where we started, because uh, she doesn't actually come up there. Again, if you do get caught... You will always just start in the room we're in now, so near panic, near worry, no bother. Once she goes to the right, now we can head down. So we're going to head down the stairs. And then from here then, we're going to go to the right. So into her little sitting room bit. We're going to grab the book, make sure to grab the book. This is for an achievement later on. Quickly hide in the closet if needed. So just, <laughs> just got away with that one there. Um, and then once she's all done... We can go to the left, and we're going to head down. So go through the first door you came across to head down. I'm going to grab a couple of tools and everything here. The first one, we're going to grab a tooth just on the plate. And then if we go to the right, we are going to grab a dentist tool. Well, that is all the way to the right-hand side. There it is. Let's so make sure to pick that one up. Again, just have a look at what she's doing. Uh, but what you're going to do is use the giant caramel thing on the teeth right here. That's actually going to get you one tooth. So that's another tooth to add to the collection. So we're going to be going for four at the same time right here. So what we can do now is... Oh, there we go. Game saved. Ah, oh, look at us. Look at us flying. So she is actually coming down. What we need to do is just wait. She's going to start heading to the left. Once that's done, we can head back up. Meh, <laughs> loser. Incredibly, she can't hear us. Now we're going to go to the right in her little bedroom area again all the way to the right and then what we're going to use is the dentist tool so make sure to use the dentist tool on this part now she's actually going to go to the left so she should be fine pick up the item and then she's going to go up into the kitchen so should be golden as dandy balls and again anything that you do collect even if you get caught and you die you will uh, keep on your poisons Right, so head to the left once you go downstairs. And then we're going to pick up another tooth. Now, the hand icon didn't come up, but there is another tooth there. So that should already be three out of the four. Three out of the four. Right, wait for Andy to check her teeth. Some of the noises she makes is funny. So we're going to head up, and then just in front of us by the statue is another item for us to grab. So make sure to pick that one up before heading up. The stairs once again into the kitchen area. It's a weird house, isn't it? It was a kitchen upstairs and a bedroom in the middle. Yeah, anyway. 
all the way over to the right then and then what we're going to see we are going to put the shakespeare book into the pot that's actually going to unlock us the boring book achievement and then depends where she's off she is coming up so if that's the case we're going to just hide behind the barrel slightly oh sorry no she's going down sorry wrong way she's going down silly silly me but yeah put the book into the soup or the broth or whatever it is to get the boring book achievement so make sure to grab the last tooth here where we are just by the chair. It's on top of the jar. So you should now have four children's teeth. Um, she is going to start coming up in just a little second. There we go. So now we're going to do a little bit of hiding. But yes, yeah, so now you should have four teeth. Um, yeah, you should be good to go in just a mo. Oh, she found a book. Eh, well, I'm sorry, but achievements am's needed. Okay, achievements am's needed. And demons are stupid. They don't question like, huh, this didn't get up here. They can't be like a super demon, can they? Super ghost. So, there she goes. She's going to read a book. So, we are going to head down. And then next up, then, we are actually going to blow these candles out. So, make sure to blow the candles out. Go into the next room, but stand uh, just underneath the weird, <laughs> the deformed, inbred Sonic the Hedgehog looking thing. And then just wait. Man, inbred Sonic was not waiting there, was he? So we had a straightaway. So when we begin again, then we're going to head back down the steps. We're going to blow out the candles again. Going to need this. Now we're going to get inbred Sonic fully asleep. So we're going to give him the bread. And he's going to be like, glub glub, mother flub. Ah, oh, yeah. Doesn't even chew. <laughs> You're an animal. Right. Now we've got free reign of this room. So what we're going to do is use the dentist tool on the, um, yeah, on the cabinet. Doesn't work, so that's all good. Uh, but we're actually going to put the four children's teeth in this machine. But we've got a lot to do. Plus, we need to pull our own one out later on as well. So that's why it does take so long. So, uh, again, just look out for nurse, <laughs> nurse teeth bags. And then what we'll do, once she's fully down there, we are going to start heading back up to the kitchen. So up we go, Mr. Mo. Now, you, the creature thing should be here. Now, what should happen is, when you talk to him, he should offer you a tooth. But if that doesn't happen, um, what you need to do, this happened to me twice. So what you need to do is basically go down to the nurse or the, the auntie or whatever, the dentist, get yourself caught... And then go back to this thing, and then he will give you a tooth. I don't know why that happened to me twice. I don't know if it was a bug or what. You can't do it with your bear. So yeah, once that's done then, now we can go all the way to the right again. And this time he will offer you the tooth. So I'm not sure if he'll offer it to you straight away or something, but yeah. I can't find any BB. Ah, so that's. So now, as you can see, we're all good this time. So, uh, 
probably didn't need to wait today, but since we are in this room anyway, uh, you can actually use the pliers to get the tooth here, which is on the picture, uh, if you ever so wanted to. Otherwise, if not, apparently I missed it the first time, we're going to head down, we're going to put this children's tooth in the machine to the left. And he does actually have another tooth, does this little chunky monkey. Now, but again, uh, either it's a bug or something because he didn't offer it to me this time. Again, I had to wait, get caught, and then offer it, uh, and then ask him again. So if this happens to you again, just go and find the nurse to die. And um, yeah, just ask him once more. Ah, nice mate, very nice. Spewing up a baby tooth, tidy. Right. Oh, lush. Alright, well, let's pick up that baby tooth then, I suppose. And then we'll go back downstairs. Giving her a little kick, RV. I don't know why I done that. Um, I think that was probably a mistake. But once you've got that second baby tooth, there's only two baby teeth that he'll give, uh, that he'll give us. So once that is done, we can actually just go back downstairs into the room on the left with inbred Sonic and put that one tooth in the machine. Okay, no idea what that edit was there. Uh, I do apologize. I got no idea what the hell I just done there. I think I was just waiting around for a long, long time. Um, so, yeah. As I told you before, go down into the left room where the inbred Sonic is and put that next tooth in. <laughs> So once this one is done, we're going to head back upstairs, go into the left-hand side room. And again, this time we can use the pliers or whatever they are in order to get the tooth from this picture. There we go. We could have reached that with your hand, but there we go. That's fine. Uh, so as long as Auntie's not about, which I believe she's going to be down the very, very downstairs anyway, um, you should be able to now risk it but if you don't fancy risking it of course just wait around there we go so yeah just wait for her again and then go back into the room with inbred sonic and put that next tooth in the machine So we do have just one more to get, and luckily we don't have to go and find it this time. All we have to do is pull it out of our own mouth and trousen. So head up, go to the left room. We're going to head outside this time. And we're going to go and have a look in the mirror, which is to the right-hand side of us. So if you uh, interact with the mirror and then use the tongs on yourself, oh boy, here we go. Ingrid, you're telling me, ah, 
that 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 would hurt a lot more than just a ah. So with this one done, we can now go back into the inbred Sonic room machine, and that'll get that one done. So we're almost finished now with this level. Hooray! But we do have a puzzle to do, and I'll tell you what it is now. So first of all, click the square, then the circle, then the diamond or rhombus, once and twice. That's two diamonds, and then circle again, and then triangle. Once that is done, that is done, and we can finally get the hell out of this house. Leave uh, Belly Sonic to enjoy his life right there, I suppose, or something. Anyway, that'll get you the, ta-da, the 50 cent golden tooth of life. So, now we can get the hell out of here. So what we're going to do is head back upstairs to the left room, where, where we pulled out our own tooth from the mirror. And then we're going to go to the painting of Auntie What's her face? So, we're going to put in the blue orb. We're going to pop in the red orb. And we're also going to put in the golden tooth. So, again, it's a little puzzle. But what you need to do is get the red... Uh, the red eye pointing to the right. Like that. And then apparently I decided to overcomplicate it again. The blue, we're going to be looking straight up. And then all you need to do is interact with the tools on the hands once. So that it's open and that it's down. And that'll open up the teeth of hallways. You know, this is worse than the uh, Miss Trunchbull Chokey from Matilda. Anyway, from here, head all the way to the right. God, imagine the smell. The ginger vitus and the smell in that room. Blah. Anyway, head all the way to the right to end the chapter. Hold on, let me get my... Sure! <sighs> so, where are we? In a cemetery. It's that... Mm. Remember? I'm sick of a... What a... If a ta... Quit coding... <laughs> So then, this is the last chapter. It is the longest one of the game, but it's not too bad. But we're going to get a few through a few puzzles first. So what we're going to do, head to the right, head down the sort of graveyard thing. Now, with this bit, only move when the light comes on. When the light's off and it's dark, do not move because there's a monster coming up behind you. So once the light's off, don't move. Once the light goes back on, move. And just keep doing that until you get to the end. So I did almost get caught there, but with this one, it's the same thing, except only move when there's no noise. Once you hear a noise, stop.
band together, we made it. We get a bit of band in the band, ba -ba. Right, so we're gonna head to the right to see Pinocchio. Or Pinocchio's carpenter, what's his name? Geppetto, my friend. Can you not see the cracks? I'm a c You make coffee. Four. Got it. Wait, girl. And what's in the- I can- While I- It was tough. It's my cheek. An interest- What was- There. Give me one and- Here, take my- Come here. Are you sure he's the best? I am a red- I'll try to help you. I'll wait. So we got a mini Pinocchio. Time to get another achievement. So all you're going to do is um, just get your little mini Pinocchio out a couple of times to get the heartfelt conversations out. Uh, what user? <laughs> I am a... <laughs> How old are you? Huh? <laughs> do you want me to say... That's not <laughs> enough. <laughs> I was... You... <laughs> So then after this, what we're going to do, um, there's basically going to be a caretaker roam, uh, just roaming around. What we're going to do is actually dive by him three times now in order to get the harvest achievement. There you go. He looks hot and bothered. There we go, once that one's done then, go forward ever so slightly, wait until the caretaker is climbing up the ladder. So that's basically his pattern, that's the only way we can get past him is when he climbs up his ladder there. So we've got a quick few items to grab. Into the next room, there's going to be something just by the chair, which we'll grab, or just on the desk, so that's the paperweight, make sure to grab. And then the skull on the left hand side here, make sure to grab that, out, uh, the orb out of that as well. Now just wait by this chest, as soon as the caretaker comes in, get inside that chest. As soon as he sees you, in the room, make sure to get in the chest, like now, and then that'll be the Mimic Achievement. Open up! <laughs> I can't breathe in here! <laughs> it's unfortunate, but it's true. We're just dead, you. Right, anyway, you interact with the coffin. This uh, basically acts as a portal, uh, which is always nice. So interact with it again, and then we're going to go... Nya, nya. Down into the graveyardy weird bit. So, yeah, we don't have to keep doing that puzzle all the time. So once that's done, head to the left so we can get... Uh, oh, in fact, all the way to the left, there is a stick. A stick of sorts. So make sure to grab that before uh, just heading up. There we go. So, oh, sorry, piece of the coffin barrel. Wood, stick. It's all the same thing, man. Right, so up we get back into the cemetery. We're going to do head to the right. And there's nothing here just quite yet, but there is a medallion piece just by this graveyard. So make sure to pick up that medallion piece. Then we're going to head to the left. And we are going to now. Uh, interact with the crypt, big crypt. So we need to do then the left one. You're going to interact with that uh, the once and twice and three times. The middle one we're going to interact with that once, and then the last one we're going to interact with it once and twice, and that should be it. So three and third. Three times, one times, and two times. Right, now we're going to head into the crypt. <sighs> With the ghost vampire's weird stinky garlic breath. Blech. Anyway, uh, let's go to the right. And there's going to be... Um, we're going to use the ancient idol. Sorry, so we're going to use the ancient idol in the crack. And this ancient idol Pinocchio thing is actually going to get us a, another piece of the medallion. Thank you very much, pal. Much appreciatado, mother flippado. So, uh, what we can do now is put the medallion in. So put both of the pieces and medallion in the puzzle on the right-hand side. 
And it's a very easy puzzle anyway. Um, so no worries about this. But what you got to do is press left, then right, wait three seconds, and then up. And then it should, all three characters should land on the sun. If not, that's fine. It'll just sort of reset itself. But again, so you'll need to go left, immediately right, wait for four seconds, I would, and then go up. So left, right, one, two, three, four. Well, I got a little bit early, but I did manage to just get that one. So as long as they're all lit up, that's all fine and dandy. That's going to open up the scroll for us. But what we're actually going to be doing now is making another backup save anyway. So um, I thought it saved after the doing the puzzle right there, but it actually didn't. So that's why I'm only doing the backup save now. So again, let's uh, cloud it up again. So just completely quit the game out to the Xbox dashboard and load ourselves back in. And yes, annoyingly, we will have to do the puzzle again, so go back down, and remember, you go left, immediately right, wait four seconds, and then go up. Uh, pick up the scroll and give it back to your chunky little midget friend. And also, we need to ask him politely to read it. So again, it's going to be the left option, which would be the good option. So it is politely ask him to read it, which is the left option. Make sure to choose that one. Excuse me. What's that you... <laughs> I'm think of it's described. It does mean it. Are you sure? No. It's hardly the best. You're in hell. That sounds less. You'll need. But where can I get up? Cheer up. And that actually wakes up every guy who criticizes any OnlyFans girls. <laughs> Oh, that, that's disgusting. A little bit of flab on, underneath her booby. <laughs> you know, because most, most, let's be honest, most people who criticize others online genuinely end up looking like this. Very nice. <sighs> Perhaps I can... I actually... <laughs> <sighs> so now we've got the jar of life. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back into the crypt. 
It's not underneath the uh, grave cellar, or whatever you want to call it. We're going to go back into the crypt. We're going to catch ourselves a cheeky little ghost now. But we need to interact with the puzzle again. This time, we're going to get all the enemies on the sun, or the three animals on the sun. So what you need to do is go press up, immediately right, wait four seconds, and then left. So up, right, wait a couple of seconds, and then left. And that should get it all nice and dandy, Mr. McFlangry. That's going to open up the coffin ever so slightly, so we're going to give that a little poosh. Huh? Uh. What was that gross thing? That gross thing is my face, I'll have you know. Ingrid. Anyway, pop the jar down. And then we're going to put the uh, opal in it as well, and that'll get the ghost inner than a chicken dinner in your binner. So once that's picked up then, just head out of the crypt and go all the way right to the OnlyFans Critic Man. Gotta be honest, if I didn't have a body that resembles a pasty white uh, uncooked chicken, I'd probably do OnlyFans as well, but I'd have to pay you money to see it, so meh. Anyway, um, we're going to trade the paperweight to um, Mr. Perfect right here. That's what we'll call him from now on, Mr. Perfect. Because of course he's one of those that watches sports and watches crime shows and goes, well, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, pass the ball, really. Anyway, what we're going to do is grab the book from the top middle shelf. Top middle shelf. From the middle right shelf, sorry. So, once we've grabbed the book, we can now head to the left. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing for the next sort of 10 minutes or so now is just trading a bunch of stuff. Go over to Molek, the Polek, and we're going to give him the book. Well, well. It's the summit. <laughs> That's not one day. Ew. So now we can go back to Mr. Perfect, and um, we're actually going to trade the book now. So go into your inventory and ask him to trade the book, which he will gratefully accept. And this time we're actually going to be grabbing the mask on the bottom right corner. This will definitely come in handy for not dying. So grab the mask. Although imagine... <laughs> imagine waking up to a mask like that. <laughs> I'd rather wake up to Jim Carrey's mask. And if you know, you know. Everyone knows the mask. Everyone knows that film. So anyway, we're heading back down into the underground graveyard underground. We're actually going to be... Uh, starting to find two keys now in order to get another achievement. So head back in the coffin in order to get down. Right, so wait here again until the caretaker nips up the ladder. There he goes. Once this is done, we're just going to start um, heading here uh, all the way to the left for now. And it's actually in this room to the left where the mask will automatically be put on. So that's all good. And then what we're going to do is climb all the way down the ladder. So literally all the way down until we get to the very bottom of the floor.
Here we are then, in the spookiest signs of life. But no, what we're doing then, we're picking up a lantern. We're going to take that to the left-hand side to find a giant key. And there it is. So yeah, somebody's leaving keys about. Satan's not going to be happy. So, pick up the... Uh, you can pick up the lantern again if you want. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. So what we're going to do, we're going to have to go... Um, back up the ladder to Geppetto to then come back down here anyway. So yeah, this chapter is long because there's a lot of back and forth going. So when we get all the way up, you can actually get caught by the caretaker if you want because you'll just start next to the coffin portal. So then you can just go to the right or you can just um, wait until he goes up his ladder. Either way, we're heading all the way right next to Geppetto. Nice. Key's not working. You say, I oh, say, I oh, say, key's not working. So since the key's not working, that is actually the first out of two for the achievement why there's so many keys here. So what we're going to need to do now is wait. Wait. Wait, Sally, I got something stuck in my teeth. Could you get it out for me? That's flipping teamwork. What's your favorite position? That's cool with me, it's not my favorite, but I'll do it for you. What's your favorite dish? I'm not gonna cook it, but I'll order it from Zanzibar. Sorry, I got some tenacious D effort gently in my head right there. So what we're gonna do now is head all the way back to the left, down the ladder, all the way down once more. Well, actually, just before heading down the ladder, make sure to put the key in the skull on the left-hand side first. There we go. I mean, you think for someone being in hell, she's not exactly in a Russia shield, Ingrid. But there you go, so pop the key in. Now we're gonna head all the way down. Grab the lantern. And then what we'll do, we'll put it to the right, slightly just past the ladder, next to the sort of peak of the rock, right around here. That'll do. That's fine. Now we're going to climb up only once this time. That's going to be mad. <laughs> oh! So we're going to jump off here. We're going to go to 1524, and then we're going to smash the sun lantern, which is the one on the left-hand side of 1524. So smash the urn. Boom! That's going to be another key, so again, what we'll do is climb all the way up the ladder and go to the right to Geppetto to try and give him the key. That will actually unlock the Why Are There So Many Keys Here achievement. Hey, so although it took a time, yes, we, uh, we're good. We're all good with that bit now. So, 
not a lot of achievements left now. Not a lot to go. Not a lot to do in the game. So we're heading through the portal. We're going to go back up to the graveyard cellar. Boink. So up we go once again. And then what we'll do is actually start heading to the uh, right. So we're going to go back and see Mr. Perfect. So eventually, after we stop smoking, we're actually going to try and trade the mask back. So, yeah, do it. Do it now. And this time, we're going to be grabbing the coin. Thank you, Mr. Perfect. So even though you are critical of everyone who doesn't have a big fat spot on his chin and is Bolder than the moon! You're actually a very decent guy. Uh, so, there we go. We've got the coin. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to head it back down. And just basically go through the portal where the caretaker is again. Again, just wait a freaking minute. So once he's climbed up, we're going to interact with the baby. We're going to put the coin in the baby's head right here. So once we pop that in, you should have plenty of time. And then eventually, come in. There we go. We can pick up the key and then we can head out to the right. Plenty of time before the caretaker. Even if he does try to start chasing you there, that's fine. Because when you get in this room, he goes, uh, do the way you went. Uh. Anyway, uh, what we'll do is give him the silver key. Old Geppetto here, and that is enough to live the dream, love life, and get the hell out of hell. Thank you, girl. <laughs> so, a couple of items we're going to grab then once he disappears. The first one's going to be on the chair. Or just next to the chair whatever there it is and then the second one's on the table to the left just in front of the two coffins here and it is the carpenter's tool so that should be uh, another two items that we've got after doing a little dance in your pants with some ants we're gonna head up the steps no we're gonna go sorry we're not heading up the steps sorry that's silly we're going back through the portal into the cemetery again my apologies <laughs> So we're going to go back to Mr. Perfect, and we are going to give him, or we're going to trade him in, the Carpenter's Chisel. The next thing we're going to be grabbing, it seems like it's never ending this, doesn't it? But we're going to grab the goblin statuette on the uh, top left, or in the middle, the left middle. Top left, what am I on about? Anyway, once we grab the statuette, we're also going to grab his little flint. The s Ooh, fine. But I tell you what, <laughs> you don't want to tighten up those buns, because uh, I'm paying you a thousand pounds a month for all this. <laughs> but still. Anyway, uh, what we'll do is head back underground no we're not going underground we're going into the crypt i'm so sorry we're going into the crypt that's twice i've done that feel free to hate me feel free to cancel me but um no don't do that anyway heading into the crypt this time that's the last mistake i actually make i promised you down um we will be putting the statue right to the left where we just entered so the gargoyle not the goblin sorry it's the gargoyle uh oh, something's happening. It's the stairs! Oh my gosh! So, head down the stairs. So 
Now, we're going to get another achievement here. What we're going to do is use the rotten piece of coffin first, just in this fireplace, and then use the flint on it. You will have to keep pressing the A button a couple of times until it works. Next up, we're going to use the carpentry tool. So pop that one in, and again, use the flint, press the A, couple of bu uh, a button a couple of times until it works. Nothing. That's going to get us the Uninsidual Ritual achievement, and then finally we're going to use the idol, use the flint on the idol, and that is actually what gets it working. So we don't get to keep Mini Pinocchio, which is a darn sherm. So there's no... Sorry, little one. I'm so happy. Sorry, but I Sorry, the screams are a bit horrific, aren't they? Anyway, use the big giant golden key. And then what you can do is just grab the dirty water from it. Then we're going to head out and give um, the little Molak, our little chubby little midget friend, the water and the book. Oh damn it, I told one more lie. What we're actually going to do first is head to Mr. Perfect on the right hand side. We're going to give him his flint back in order to get the a deal. There is a deal achievement for returning his flint. So again, make sure to do this before you give Molek or whatever is Molek station, whatever his bloody name is, um, the dirty water in the book. So give that back, you'll get the achievement. Now we can go to the left and finish up the game. And then reload a backup save and do the next ending. I feel the hit from it. Give me the dad. Hmm. While you see that creep. You see that? Ah. It'll serve as a... Let's do this! Just got back from his pretty. I must admit. Oh yeah. How? Just take a. Look. Oh. How did you good? The game is so. Really? Have I ever? Maybe you haven't lied exactly. Anyhow, what? but you did. Thanks for your help, Malik. All righty. <laughs> Hooray! We did it! 
right, it's a good ending! Now it's time to do the classic ending. So, if you think that's gonna be bad or good... <laughs> we have to wait and see. So, the credits... Now, I advise waiting until the credits finish and then loading up your backup save. I That's what I've done. It does take about 5 to 10 minutes or so. Um, and you can't skip them or anything. Um, but that is what i done because I... I was a bit paranoid and I didn't want to reload your backup save and then it actually messes something up. So, manage games and add-ons, down to saved items after the credits have rolled, delete from console again, and then load back in and now we'll go ahead and get the classic ending. So, once you've loaded it back up, hopefully you are at the same point I am, providing you've done it correct. It should be absolutely fine, uh, no problems, but you should be right out here with Molek Station again. Uh, that's his name, Mr. Station. Molek Station. Not a good name. Uh, so anyway, we're going to have to go back then and do the puzzle. Remember this puzzle here to get the scroll, so it's going to be uh, left, immediately right, wait a couple of seconds, and then up. This time around though, we are going to ask Mr. Station to rudely read it to us. So we're going to choose the right option this time, rudely ask him to read it. So we need to do a bit of bad now in order to get the classic ending. This head up. Are you sure? Nah. It's hardly the pure. That's a yeah. But where can I cheer up? <sighs> so head to the right, uh, talk to Mr. Perfect, grab the jar, and this time we're going to be tricking the ghost boy in order to get in. Because, uh, Mama got stuff to do. Or, we got stuff to do. Well, that Very nice. <sighs> Perhaps I can. I actually ha <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> So once we get over to the boy then, we go into, uh, go into our inventory, get the jar, and then this time we're going to use the right hand side option to lure the boy into the jar. Unlucky, bruh. Wait, get in. What? Uh, when? You're not? I never. Enough. Yeah, yeah. We... A wizard? Siri, any method is good. Did I really? The poor memory.
So immediately for Mr. Perfect, we're going to give him the paperweight. And then we're going to be able to take the book. And by book, I actually meant mask. So that's another time I've steered you wrong. I'm not very good this playthrough, am I? Sorry. Uh, but yeah, we're actually going to take the mask this time around. We don't need the book just yet. But we do need to go underground, so take the mask. So once we're back uh, underneath, right here, I don't know where the caretaker was, he's just chilling. Uh, grab the lantern, put it over to the left, and grab the massive key again, and then head all the way back up. This time we're just going to put the key straight in the skull's eyeball and then we're going to climb back down. Chuck ye old lantern ever so slightly to the right. Yeah, that'll do. Just anywhere but there's fine. And then once again, we're going to go to 1524. So head up once. Smash the sun urn in 1524 to grab the next mahusive key.
Now let us head back to the cemetery. So back to Mr. Perfect then, what we're going to do is trade the mask back in and we're just going to grab the gargoyle statue. And make sure to grab the Flint Lockwood lighter of the Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 3. Yes, no problem, Mr. Perfect. Don't worry, you're perfect while everyone else has issues and problems. While every OnlyFans girl has that money. And you sit there with, you know, bean juice down your chin. Uh, so we're going <laughs> to drop into the crypt. Honestly, I don't, I don't get the criticism for anyone who's wanting to just make some money like wouldn't you be happy with literal thousands and thousands of pounds in your bank yes and people admiring you as well people complimenting you what's not to love huh like i said if i didn't look like a rotisserie chicken then i'd do it myself but uh, there we go so we're gonna put the idol down use it as kindling or kindling is that kindling or kindling either way he's happy to serve us and scream his poor little wooden heart out Brace yourself. And once again then, up we go. We're almost to the end now, finally, because this bloody cemetery level seems like it has taken one day and an age. So this time we're going to head to the left. We're going to interact with um, M Station again. I've got a ten. Give me. While you were up, see? I'm ready. Let's do this. You see the <laughs> it'll serve it. Let's do this. Para casa bau, amar sara para, candal sabo coco, indrita vou da viu, para espanha lá vou. Para casa bau, amar sara para. Just got back from his pretty warm. I've been what? As you see, you couldn't manage to atone for your. S In that case, I. You're an Arden. You are such. Your ally. With my blessing. 
So hooray, we actually did it. So there is a happy ending even with the classic ending. Now, I do believe on Steam that there was one achievement for not dying at all through the game. And I'm sure there was an achievement as well on Steam for getting the bad ending. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. So I'm glad uh, the devs and some, the devs, the, uh, the creepy, uh, creepy brothers and sometimes you took that out for the Xbox version. So much appreciated, but... We get a happy ending. Ingrid realizes or questions what the uh, Liberty Dude has is just going on. But that's the end of the game. So you've got the classic achievement. We're all good. So now if you have a look, you should be on 27 out of 27 achievements. Uh, for some reason, if I have a look here, it says 20 out of 27, even though you see me unlock those on screen. So please ignore this. You should be on full 1,000 out of 1,000 and the Platinum. So thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game of the guide. If it did, of course, don't uh, help. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye.